Looks like Mumbo hasn't yet been online. Or maybe he just really, really likes this ridiculous tree. Welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. We are on episode three, and I've done a small amount of work between episodes. I have created a very micro, very custom bespoke fitted melon and pumpkin farm, as you can see. It's probably not very efficient, but it fits in this space that I didn't know what to do with otherwise. So, what are we doing today? Well, today I would really like to get some more work done to the starter base. I don't want to have this lingering too long, so I'm going to create some additional shapes on the side here and try and get this detailed. Now, one of the reasons for not doing everything all in one go is that sometimes you just don't know exactly what you want to do with your base. And if you give it a day or two, you'll figure something out. For example, I realized that I wanted to make a big circular window right here. There's so many cool things that you can do with trapdoors. What is that? Also, I've made I've made some sales already, 24 diamonds. Oh, they're going really well. What is that? What is that? It looks like a tower of goats. I've not really done anything with goats. They, they don't seem to do anything. They're a bit useless, really. What do goats even do? What, oh my goodness. What is this? Yeah, you're looking at it. It's called the goat and pole, Grian. The go what do you think? The, the go goat and pole. <laughs> It's approximately double the height of the boat and pole, Grian, so what do you think about that, huh? I think, the, think? I think the goats do nothing. They make a lot of noise. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> they scream, and that's about it. Well, listen, the goat army's coming, so, you know, For I'm what? just saying, you, you took the moss, dude. They, we, I told you there'd be retribution. We didn't do so, anything. We just made you, a tower out of boats. Yeah, and you took our moss from our shipwreck, Grian. This is I, what you get. It was okay. Ash. We found it first. Finders well, keepers. All right. That's your story. We got our story. Get goated, dude. I'm going to put this screen back up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, uh -huh. I'm, I'm declaring this place a no goat zone. No goats okay. allowed. All right. Good luck with that. We'll see you later, G. Bec because we stole... We didn't even steal moss. We found moss and they declared it was theirs after we found it. If anything, they're trying to steal our moss. We're not the... Bottom hole. So far, this hole has done nothing but be a, a genuine hazard. So far, we're ending up with a bunch of eyesores. Oh, he's just leading loads of goats in here. I will just kill them. We're gonna have to protect our village from the goats. I'm not sure I want to make the boat and pole any taller. It, it, it's, it's, it's perfect the way it is. Every boat is a member of the village. Every goat is a slap in the face. I mean, they're bringing them to their slaughter. They know that, right? Right, let's put our profit in here while we leave the the little goaty boys to themselves. We'll, uh, I, I don't know what, why they think they're going to get away with this while I'm right here. <laughs> well, we're about to put the bottom hole to good use. Come on, this is a no goat zone. A no goat zone. In you go, little fella. Bye bye now. How do I get rid of this? Is it going to snap? Does it ever go? And there he goes. Whoa. We finally got a, we, so we finally got a slime farm. Looks like Impulse has been busy. Right, let's get back to detailing this thing before I was rudely interrupted. I think that looks pretty good. It's gonna give me lots of natural light. I just need to fix it up on the inside. But first, I know exactly what to do with these goats. This is a no goat zone. No goats anywhere. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll leave the bottom hole to take care of these. I knew that the bottom hole would come in handy. Into the bottom hole. If they ever come close, I'm going to remove that and they can watch the goats fall into the bottom hole. Looks like we've lost a couple already to the bottom hole. Right, now that that's out the way, let's hop into a time lapse and get the rest of this exterior nice and detailed. I don't think I want to leave it bland for forever. So let's go.
You know, you can't leave this server alone for five minutes. I've literally logged on after a full day of time-lapsing some of this beautiful build, and there's spikes all over the floor, and I have no idea where they've come from. And I don't really have much more to say than... What? I'm pretty sure none of the guys in the village would have done this, because it's... Well, it's a bit of a hazard, really, isn't it? So I guess all we can do is at least tidy up the bit that hurts. Actually, seeing how many spikes there are, this might have been Cub. He's the only one I know that's farmed a whole bunch of dripstone. The question is, why? You'll also be pleased to know that the egg is still safely on top of the chimney. So, what have we done in terms of detailing to the base? Well, I've kind of replicated what was going on at the front. Oh my goodness, it's blue again! I think the blue really suits it because the, the blue and the green match really nicely. So check it out. We've got this really overgrown looking property and I added this whole new section here. Now when you're detailing in Minecraft, it's quite easy to accidentally make a bunch of faces. And I was doing pretty well up until I got to this side of the house. You see, I made these giant circular windows and decided to add buttons next to him. See, <laughs> you see that? Do you- can you see the face? It looks like my house is absolutely like screaming like Hoo! And then even worse, okay this one, this one looks like a face, yeah maybe you could get away with it Until you see this one, which has a nose, two eyes and eyebrows And it's going Hoo! It looks like my house is in the middle of a sim- hell there's another one! Not quite as obvious Ho ho ho! <laughs> it is really easy to accidentally make faces whenever you do windows. The key, I think, is just don't put buttons either side of it. But at the same time, as long as you don't see the faces, I think the detailing has come out pretty nicely. I didn't plan on doing this, but during the time lapse, I decided to get rid of my sheep farm because, you know, more animals means more lag, so I decided to very early on get a wool farm going. And this ended up taking me pretty much half a day. The idea here is to stay pretty much, just leave these guys to it for most of the season until they've got all the wool that I could ever need. It's going to take a while for all of this to fill up, but it's one of those things that is super, super useful. What I will say is, do not copy this design. I made it up as I went along. It looks very slick, it looks very compact, but in terms of redstone, <laughs> do not follow it, because the sheep, when they get sheared, it doesn't always fall underneath, and you end up with... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I bothered even trying to sort them. They all end up in the wrong chest. But you know what? It really, really doesn't matter. It's going to produce more wool than I will ever need this season. And I probably will sell the majority of it at some point. But the point is that it's going just like my melon and pumpkin farm here. And just to add to my off-camera Minecraft shenanigans. I mean, the, the, the mining off-camera meme is a little bit real when I just show you, look, look, I just, I spent this morning gathering some wither skeletons. In fact, I accidentally managed to get one too many. So I'm pretty much ready for a beacon, but I think I'm gonna have to launch this underground. But for now, I'm just gonna freak out everyone in the village by creating a pumpkin wither. Boop, boop, boop. I don't know why I was mildly scared then that that was going to turn into some sort of weird pumpkin wither. How bonkers would that be? But anyway, I'm going to freak people out by leaving that scarecrow there. And also, I have been steadily getting loads, and I mean loads of diamonds. I, no one has bought a single honeycomb yet, but I managed to get a bunch of books such as efficiency, mending, unbreaking, and there was some silk touch in there as well. And people have been coming around and buying lots of books. I mean, look at this. Already in this game, we're on episode three, 16 diamond blocks. I have a feeling if we keep up this entrepreneurial streak, we will become even richer than in season seven. We just have to keep the minecart rolling. I'm getting a little bit dizzy. And a quick update on the bottom hole, the goats, uh, basically, they bounce until they snap the thing, until there's w there's one true goat remaining. And it also looks like, I think Impulse has been doing- oh no. 
I think Impulse has been breaking through the bedrock. I think. Maybe I shouldn't disturb this. He said he's found a new way or a better way to break through bedrock. My goodness. I should really offer to help on this if we want to break through into the void. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Mumbo has been away for a few days, so we're probably not going to get a response to this anytime soon. And I'm actually going away for a few days, so I'm probably going to come back to the whole thing being one, the whole village being one gigantic tree. But you know what? I'm having some proper inventory problems now, so I think it might be time for me to go to the end and get myself a couple shulker boxes and hopefully some elytra. I think, I know it's pretty early, it's only episode three, but you know me. I really, really like to be able to fly, but without a gunpowder farm, I'm not gonna be able to get very far anyway, but it's useful just to have wings, especially to be able to fly over to places extremely quickly. So I'm gonna see if there's anyone that wants to go end busting with me. No one in the village is online, so I guess this is gonna be a solo adventure. Now, Scar did tell me he was super proud of his interior, so I thought I'd come and have a look. It looks actually pretty awesome. I think the interior for my base is gonna have to wait till next episode. Wow. Now that is a very cool design for a little plant. And downstairs, we have, we have a no. Whoa! What the? Did you, you saw that, right? <laughs> they got, they climb ladders now. Oh my, oh my, no. No! What do I do? What do I do? I don't know what was here. I would be guessing at best. Um, yeah, I just, I just wrecked Scar's base. So the best I can do is let him know that it was, uh, it was me. Why does Scar never light up his builds? I've known the man now for about three years and I've never known him to actually light up a build. Li li literally the best thing I can do. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll message him to tell him what happened, but this is hilarious. Imagine this when you, you log in and you just you see a creeper hole and there's just this dead version of beady eyed Grian going on. Oh, I'm so sorry, Scar. I will fix this. I just need to know how it was before. But this is still very funny. Before I got distracted by Scar's beautiful interior and a creeper that can climb ladders, I was on my way to the end. In fact, it's probably easier if I take the new nether tunnels. The other hermit spent a while making real tunnels so we can get to places a lot faster. I think I've got everything. Let's go. Let's grab ourselves some ender pearls. Oh my goodness. What is this? Oh no. This is this is the most ridiculous farm I've ever seen. Oh, uh, I, I I must admit I've never really used an ender ender like this. Well, there's more than enough XP to follow me around for a while. Jeez, that thing is powerful. Okay, now we need to go and find one of the ender tic tacs and get ourselves an end city. Looks like there's only one of them available for some reason. Ooh, huh, okay. All right, now all we need to do is find an end city. So it looks like people have gone that direction and that direction. So let's go this way. I really, really, really hate bridging over the end. You just know if you mess up, it's it's not just death. It's the, the complete destruction of everything you have in your inventory. This is my second end city that I found and as you can see it's already been raided and as has that one. Uh, this is uh, part of the problem when you work on a server with about 20 other people we all want the same thing and so what I've had to do is get my camera account on to go and find an end city that hasn't been end raided and I am glad I did because it is miles away. The closest one that hasn't been raided is over 2,000 blocks away. So that's basically what we got to go and do now is get all our way over there. I could have wasted potentially two or three days just blindly navigating in the end and not getting anywhere.
There it is! We're here! Finally! Can I make this jump? I sure hope so! Ooh. Okay, this is the only unrated end city for miles. Let's start from the bottom and make our way to the top. So while I'm floating around, I mentioned earlier that I'm going away for a couple of days. This isn't just some kind of random holiday that I'm going on, no. I'm actually going to take some pictures of- I really am just floating around. <laughs> I'm going to take some pictures of real life buildings for inspiration for my proper Hermitcraft base. So it's going to be absolutely amazing. I haven't- I haven't shared too many details about my base this season so far, and that's because it's a bit of a secret, but one hint is that it's at least based on things in real life. So you can rule out any sort of fantasy or futuristic build. I am really struggling here. Now, can I make this? This is a risky move. I should probably just bridge this. Please. Oh, nailed it. Let's get the elytra straight away. And yay, we got some elytra. And all we need now is the famous dragon head. Right, we might as well make our time here worth it and get as many shulkers as we can. And then skedaddle out of here. Oh, it feels so good to be able to fly. <gasps> no, where did that go? Uh-oh. What did I just do? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna leave the rest of the shulkers. What, I got 15? That's seven shulkers. That'll do for now. I feel like I've, I've got away with quite a lot here. Bingo. Finally. Okay, it was definitely worth it. 43 levels is not to be sniffed at this early in the game. Yodla hee hoo. We have ourselves some wings. We have ourselves some shulker boxes. We are doing really, really well. And I got myself my first batch of rockets. Oh, I can't tell you how nice this feels. Let's take a look at the village. It looks a lot smaller from up here. Now, while I'm here, something I'm going to do for no particular reason is put the dragon head on the dragon egg. That, it looks ridiculous. It looks like a mini dumpy dragon. Right, let's enchant this up with the usual mending and unbreaking. How can we scare him when he turns around? When he turns around? When he turns around? Will you turn around? Will you turn around? Will you turn around? Will you turn around? When he turns around? <laughs> I think I gave him a heart attack. Does his head look a little bigger than usual? Did I scare you? Yes. <laughs> now, can a man look at some sheep? <laughs> that, that turn, your head <laughs> is enormous. Oh, oh your you noticed my head. Still, it's still small. Your hat is oh, still yeah, small. Oh, yeah, it is. It is small, isn't it? Uh, um, Quick question. Yeah. Um, Why is there a, a, a goat here? Um, right, I've declared this place a no-goat zone. I don't know if you've seen, but over yonder, there's a big <gasps> tower of goats, right? Yeah. And they made fun. It's Doc and Ren, and they made fun about how tall theirs is compared to ours. Now, I don't know about you, but the Bottom pole is pretty sacred, and I'm not sure I feel comfortable touching it. As long as the bottom pole stands, our season continues. I feel like if the bottom pole fails, we just have to. End. It's like a hardcore uh, end game thing. The solution can't be to make the bottom pole bigger, so I'm thinking we make the gotem pole Smaller. shorter. Yeah, <gasps> like your hat. Follow me. Oh, you. <laughs> right, we're going into goat territory here. You know, I saw these two hooligans roaming our territory the other day, but I didn't know they were doing this. I don't really know what their problem is. This is all because we we took... Well, no, we didn't even take moss. We found moss before them, and they said that we stole it, which is nonsense. Right, are we ready? Oh, this in, is going to be fantastic. In theory, we really need T-Rexes. In theory, they all... Um, oh, it worked so well. Okay, I think it's still taller. Let's work this down. We only get one shot at this. We can't... Once they're down, they don't go back up very easily. So, I reckon we can safely remove this one. 
how are we doing? <laughs> it's it's comically low now. It is 100% taller. It is 100% taller by about four or five blocks. Are you serious? Yeah. So now all we got to do is cover up our mess here. Dude, I got to say the, the, the goats are, are, are really annoying. <laughs> they are really annoying. <laughs> there's, there's, no, there's no hiding it really, is there? No. They are straight up annoying. This was the li this was literally the only solution, right? There was there's no making the botum higher, and we got to deal with the gotum. So that's it. I have a little um, confession to make. There was an incident at your base. What? There was an incident at your. What do you base. mean there was an incident at my base? Uh. You mean at the wagon? Yeah. Come see. Yeah. So if you just uh pop upstairs with me. I, I just have, you know, you were talking to me the other day about how happy you were with your interior, so I decided to come and have yeah, a little look. Yeah, yeah, um, Oh, what in the world? Uh, there, was, <laughs> there was an accident. Oh, no. And I didn't know how to fix it, so. Oh, my I, gosh, there's a freaking cookie back here. It's what? not a cookie, it's my face. Yeah, you look like a cookie. No, I don't. You look like a chocolate chip cookie and a delicious one at that, Greg. Well, I, I appreciate that. Well, basically, the problem <laughs> is that you haven't lit up your base as per usual. Excuse and me, mister. Creepers. It's called mood here. lighting. <laughs> it's called mood lighting. It's called creeper spawning. Dude, I'm trying to create a vibe here. <laughs> is the vibe small explosions? <laughs> oh, by the way, I forgot something real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Do, 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 be, do, do, do. I don't have an electric, so this is gonna take a minute. Scar, what are you doing? What? <laughs> nerfing? Doesn't look like nerfing. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing. No, no, no worries. No worries at all. It's a good thing I got all this material from the goat hole. Oh no! Don't touch the scar. Don't touch the egg. <laughs> Can't you see? It's it's now home to a head. We're even now. What the world? There. Oh, it only went like four feet. <laughs> if I ever, ever see that egg anywhere near your base, there will be retribution. That is Dude, my that pride and joy. that thing's inviting people to touch it. It's fine. It's meant to be touched. Well, I'm glad that we got that sorted out. He's not too mad, I hope. <sighs> the dragon egg. Oh, for a, where did it go? Where did it... There it is. Ah, you, you can just make it fall on a torch if you want it to. Boop. There we go. But sometimes it's easier with the piston. Okay, so you might be wondering why I have this dragon egg. And there's actually a little bit of a game that I want to start. It, you know, for the last two seasons, season six and season seven, I started the game of tag. Well, I've got something a little different in mind for our friend, the Dragon Egg. But if you want to find out what this game is, you're going to have to come back next episode because that is all for today. And all there is left to say is thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next episode where the Dragon Egg is going to look a little bit less like a hat. Goodbye.